Mark Rothko, 1903-1970 Number 7. Dark Brown, Gray, Orange, 1963 After World War II, a group of young artists in New York began painting large-scale abstract pictures in empty factory buildings. The scope of their work ranged from the dynamic linear configurations of Jackson Pollock to the serene two-dimensional compositions of Mark Rothko in a new style known as Abstract Expressionism. This spawned pictures which tended to be emotional and expressive rather than sober and constructivist. Mark Rothko was the son of a Russian immigrant and came to the USA at the age of 10. He discovered his distinctive style in 1947, after which time he no longer named his paintings, reducing them to a few suspended rectangular color fields. In this picture, he has painted the gray-white and orange-brown colors in multiple layers on top of a dark, shimmering base. The small lower rectangle appears to be a plinth for the upper area, which is bathed in light. The color tone is muted and harmonious. The surface is matte, and the color is absorbed by the background. Traces of broad brush strokes are visible in the color application and hazy border areas. From the artist's perspective, the large-scale format is intended to give the viewer the impression of being simultaneously surrounded by color and immersed in the picture, which is also why Rothko did not frame the painting. Rothko's color fields provide a sense of space without giving an illusion of perspective. His paintings seem to oscillate mysteriously, challenging the viewer to stop and reflect. No possible set of notes can explain our paintings, Rothko once remarked. Their explanation must come out of a consummated experience between picture and onlooker. At just 175 centimeters in height, the picture, which belongs to the Museum of Fine Arts Ban, is relatively small compared to Rothko's other works. It dates from 1963 and can be assigned to a transitional phase in the artist's career. While Rothko's earlier works were painted in vibrant colors, his palette became darker during the 60s as he increasingly came to favor black and gray. This transition reflected Rothko's prevailing pessimism, which ultimately culminated in his suicide. Visit the Museum of Fine Arts Ban and see the original works and download the free app Musean Ban from the App Store.